Hello Art Beaters, Becky here for ArtBeads.com and I've got a brand new video for you today. Today we're going to be making some beautiful crystal earrings with Prestige Crystal. This is a high quality Austrian crystal and it's available in some beautiful colors for spring, summer, and every season in between. We're going to be making some really fun uh, beaded dangle earrings with honeycomb links and I'm going to show you what techniques that you'll need uh, to make those earrings and they include things like making a simple loop, opening jump rings, and more. So let's take a look at how to make some cute earrings. All right, so our featured bead of the month, um, they are crystal beads. And so we have got a great calendar download for you, a little monthly calendar here. So this is our monthly calendar PDF download for May. You will find it on our blog for bead of the month. Um, I've got a link to that in the video description for you to download and print out this lovely monthly calendar. And it features this beautiful crystal design on the calendar, which you can also find in our design studio with free instructions and a supplies list. So I made this fun Russian spiral stitch bracelet with the prestige crystal beads. I added bicones, smaller faceted rounds, and even some seed beads in there. And I used really fun colors. I've got uh, yellow, opal, I have got uh, jet AB in there, some fuchsia, just really pretty colors. And I kind of alternated some of the colors in that Russian spiral stitch. So much fun. You could simply use one color of crystal too, and that would make a completely different look. So that's a really fun stitch. It works up rather quickly um, and looks stunning. So I had a lot of fun doing that uh, for our featured bead of the month for May. So this is in our design studio with free instructions and a supplies list. Marisol is right. The, our design studio is an amazing resource. So the artbeads.com design studio is filled with jewelry tutorials for almost any technique you can think of, all kinds of different jewelry styles. Um, love our design studio. And again, they all have free instructions and a supplies list so you can easily uh, make these pieces for yourself. And I also made some matching earrings to go along with that fun bracelet because I just loved the colors of the crystal beads. Um, so this, these earrings feature those beautiful Prestige Crystal Fine Rocks tube beads. These are really cool tube beads with just little crystals embedded into the surface. It almost has like that geode look. Very fun contemporary style. And of course I had to add even more little bicone dangles to the bottom in those fun colors that match the bracelet. So really fun set to make. And again, these are featured in our design studio. So really lovely. And we're making more prestige crystal jewelry today. Now you might be asking what exactly is prestige crystal? Prestige crystal is our line of really high quality Austrian crystal. So this is Austrian crystal. It is so beautiful and it's available in styles, colors, shapes and sizes that you might already be familiar with. So for instance, if you know your crystal by article number, like bicones are usually known by the article number 5328, you can find those in the Prestige Crystal line with the same article number. So 5328 bicones we have available and in colors you might know and love as well. This is a new color, citrus green, but we also have classics like crystal, Jet, Jet AB, other great colors, crystal pearl colors. This is scarabius green, which looks so beautiful with that citrus green. Really nice uh, contrast there with those two colors. So Prestige Crystal, that's all available to you. And again, it's gorgeous Austrian crystal, really high quality. So it's definitely something you're going to want to check out for all of your crystal needs, especially now since crystal beads, they are our featured bead of the month. And we have got a great new blog post for you filled with jewelry inspiration for spring and summer featuring that lovely splash of citrus green color new on our blog i've got a link in the video description and you're gonna find beautiful jewelry like these earrings lots of fun uh 
earring dangle uh, inspiration. There's also necklace inspiration, bracelet inspiration, all kinds of great jewelry. We've got the supplies listed out with shopping links and the quantities you'll need, as well as uh, links to the tutorials that you'll need uh, to make them. So really fun jewelry pieces on the blog featuring those gorgeous uh, prestige crystals. Um, so fun. Have you ever done Russian, Russian spiral with crystals or are they too big? Yes, I have, Jonalyn. So this piece is Russian spiral with prestige crystal bicones. They are not too big. That's kind of the fun of the Russian spiral stitch. You can try experimenting with all kinds of different bead shapes. I think we've even tried it with bugle beads and that looked really cool. I'll have to link you to that video we've done in the past all about Russian Spiral because I think we do show off some some uh, bugle bead action there. But these are four millimeter crystals and the stitch works just great with crystals. So I would encourage you to try it. I think this little sample that I did was with uh, faceted round crystals. So you can definitely try um, Russian spiral stitch with crystals. Great question. Try other stitches with crystals too. I know that right angle weave is a really beautiful stitch when you incorporate crystals. Um, so much fun. So like I said, we are going to be using crystals today to make some fun earrings. I said these are on our blog now um, with a supplies list for you to make them. And the fun thing about these is you can switch out uh, the colors and the components that you want to use. Um, I am using today, we have got four millimeter citrus green prestige crystal bicones. We're also using some six millimeter prestige crystal bicones. We also have um, some Jet AB. So Jet AB is the color listed in the project on our blog, but I'm actually going to be using Jet AB 2X. So AB is a coating that's applied, a coating or a finish that's applied to the crystal. And AB stands for Aurora Borealis, and it creates this kind of iridescent look that mimics the Northern Lights or the Aurora Borealis. So I have got the Jet AB 2X bicones in six millimeter, four millimeter, and three millimeter. So that's what we're gonna be using today. I have 10 two inch head pins, gold head pins. This I believe is a 20 gauge head pin. We've got some gold jump rings to use, um, some Atabead ear wires. So these ear wires feature a straight end where you can add a bead of your choice and make a loop. So that'll match the colors of beads that you're working with perfectly. Now the example on the blog features these wonderful Tierra Cast Lotus Links. I love those, but I thought I'd switch it up for a little bit uh, of a different look. I'm going to use these Tierra Cast honeycomb links. So a little more of a modern geometric look, but I love this open design. I think that's going to look really great with the crystal colors we have. So don't be afraid to switch up some of the components that you're using to create a new little variation on these designs. That's what I'm going to be doing here today. So let's take a look at some of these dangles that we need to make for our earrings. So we have got uh, we need one of our head pins. We're going to start off with one of our three millimeter Jet AB 2X bicones. Then we're going to head for a four millimeter citrus green bicone and a six millimeter citrus green bicone. And this head pin is a little bent. You can see that my bicone is not going all the way down to the end of my, of my head pin. That might be because that one was a little bent. There we go. That's better. Get those back on there. Then we're going to use a four millimeter Jet AB2X bicone. Six millimeter citrus green bicone. Four millimeter citrus green bicone and then that three millimeter Jet AB 2X bicone at the top there. Hmm, the coating on that one must be a little thicker. If you have a bead reamer, that will help. You could also use a thinner gauge 
uh, head pin. I'm just using what I have on hand. Oh, those colors look so beautiful together. So those little hints of green in the Jet AB to act really uh, complement that citrus green color so nicely. Oh, that's beautiful. I'm just going to simply make a simple loop at the top of this. So I'm going to need my chain nose pliers. Got a couple chain nose pliers. I'm going to need some round nose pliers. And I will, of course, need some cutters here. And everybody has different ways of making simple loops. I kind of bend the wire close to the bead at a 90 degree angle with my chain nose pliers. Then I take my uh, round nose pliers and I kind of hold them at an angle to that 90 degree bend. And then I fold my wire over the round nose pliers. And then I will trim. And we have videos and instructions for how to make simple loops, which go into more detail on the technique. That is a basic wire wrapping technique you'll want to know. That is gorgeous. Okay, so we've got our first link and that one is gonna be attached to that last link over. So let's make our next little dangle. So for this one, we're gonna need two of those three millimeter bicones. And then a four millimeter Jet AB bicone. Four millimeter citrus green bicone. 4 millimeter Jet AB bicone. Four millimeter citrus green bicone. Four millimeter Jet AB bicone. And then finish up with those two three millimeter Jet AB bicones. Man, these colors are so beautiful. And then we'll make another simple loop. And I'll show you too, another tool that's great for making simple loops is the one-step looper. So this makes making simple loops so easy. So what you do with this tool is you bring your wire under that little peg in the center. There's a little hole on the side of this tool. You're gonna feed your wire through that. You're gonna push the beads up close to the edge of that plier and then squeeze and it makes the simple loop for you so quick so easy so that's another really great tool for making simple loops fast and easy and easier on your hands too if you get hand pain from making loops um, and i like to go in there and close my loop a little tighter and that one is ready too oh so pretty so these are gonna look really nice all dangling all together. Look at that. Ooh, so pretty. All right, so let's make our next dangle here. All right, this is our center dangle. So this is gonna be our last different dangle. And then for the next two dangles, we'll repeat those patterns that we've already made. So for this one, we are going to add that three millimeter bicone in Jet AB, a four millimeter bicone in citrus green a six millimeter bicone in citrus green, and then that six millimeter bicone in Jet AB. Get another six millimeter citrus green bicone, a four millimeter citrus green bicone, and then a three millimeter citrus green bicone. Oops, let's set that one aside. That one was the one with the coating. There we go, so beautiful. So I'm gonna use my one-step looper again because I can't resist how easy it is to use. And this tool is available um, to make different loop sizes. So if you need a bigger loop, um, those are available to you. There we go. Gorgeous. Oh, Anne is saying she's made Russian spiral bracelet with crystal bicones in two millimeter, two millimeter, three millimeter, and four millimeter. Yeah, have fun trying those different sizes because you can definitely switch up the look. All right, so then we just have to, uh, I'll show you the three dangles we have so far. So this one is going to be our center dangle on the earring. So we need to uh, make uh, a repeat of this dangle and this dangle. So let's do that really quick and then we can attach them all to our 
honeycomb link or lotus link if you're going off the uh, blog inspiration. So we will need two of these three millimeter bicones again. A four millimeter Jet AB bicone. A four millimeter citrus green bicone. Four millimeter Jet AB bicone. Let me make sure I'm doing this right. Another four millimeter citrus green bicone. And another four millimeter Jet AB bicone. And then finish up with two three millimeter Jet AB bicones. There we go. So there's that dangle. We'll feed it through our simple looper, push the beads up close. There we go. And then tighten up that simple loop with our chain nose pliers. There we go. Does adjusting the loop, someone had a question, does adjusting the loop after help to work harden the wire? Um, I'm not sure about work hardening it, but I adjust it because when you make that loop, it does leave just a little bit of a gap and I don't want a gap in my loops just so it doesn't detach from where I'm connecting it. Um, so that just makes the loop a little more secure. I'm gonna have to open these loops again to attach them to the honeycomb link anyway. But I just like doing that right away, especially if I'm attaching to a jump ring. Then you don't have to worry about closing those loops if you don't have to reopen them. All right, we'll need another three millimeter jump ring, or not jump ring, Jet AB <laughs> bicone. Um, and then we'll need a four millimeter citrus green bicone, a six millimeter citrus green bicone, a four millimeter jet ab bicone six millimeter citrus green bicone four millimeter citrus green bicone and then that three millimeter jet ab bicone that one has a little finish again you could ream those ones with the uh the, the coating that's making that stringy hole a little too small, but I do not have a reamer currently, so I'm just gonna use the extra beads that I have. And then we will make a simple loop with that one-step looper. Super fun. So you can see that one left a little bit of a gap. So I just kind of take my chain nose pliers and add and make that gap close. There we go. Oh, Joyce has both sizes of the loopers and she loves them. Yeah, they're really great tools. I love the loopers too. So these are fun little dangles. How cute are those? And look at those colors. I think those are perfect for summer. So now all we have to do is attach these to our links. So I'm going to be using this honeycomb link. So let's open up that loop. And I'm just going to attach them to each of the... You know what, I'm gonna, maybe I'll do it this way because it comes to a point this way and I think that'll look better with the dangles. So I'm gonna attach that one to the first honeycomb link. There we go. So this is gonna be such a fun design. So then I'll add the second dangle, just open that loop back up. I'm gonna add it to the second Honeycomb, I need to open that a little bit more. There we go. And you do want to make sure that you're making your loops wide enough to accommodate for uh, the connection of the um, on the the link here, um, or you can use jump rings too, and that might make the movement a little better. So sweet, I love it. My loops are a little small on my. Um, on my simple loops. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna use jump rings to attach these. 
and that'll just make them move better, I think, uh, dangle better. So I'm gonna take all those off. Then I can show you how to open and close jump rings too. You're getting all the techniques today. I do have a good amount of jump rings here. And I'll need another set of chain nose pliers for this technique. Because you want to use two chain nose pliers and just gently twist the jump ring open. There we go. Is that the correct one? Yes. There, yeah, that swings a lot better. That's going to dangle nicely. Then we add this one. Oh yeah. It adds some length too. You guys know me. I love long dangly earrings. So I'm not mad about this jump ring at all. Here's our center dangle, adding it to the center honeycomb. Oh, this is so pretty. Oh, I love those colors. So sparkly. This is so pretty. Adding our last dangle to our last honeycomb link. Closing the jump ring. And voila, this is so beautiful. Oh my gosh, look at the sparkle. So super dazzling, super sparkly, gorgeous summer colors, and you've got that fun honeycomb link. Now we just have to add our ear wire. So I've got these great um, add bead ear wires. I'm going to add one of the um, four millimeter bicones, and this wire looks like it's going to be a little short to use the one step looper. So I will just do the traditional method for making a simple loop where you bend your wire at a 90 degree angle and then use your round nose pliers to loop that wire back over to make a simple loop. And uh, This wire was flexible enough to just use my fingers but to kind of close that wire a little more I'm going to use my chain nose pliers. And you can also use uh, your round nose pliers to kind of push it in even more. There we go. And I'll have to trim this. And then close up that loop with my chain nose pliers. There we go. And I am going to use a jump ring to attach these. Oh, and you know what? You can even make, so this original design shows two eye pins with um, bicones attached to make this little triangular loop at the top. That would actually be really cute um, at the top of this honeycomb link too. I think I want to do that. Do I have eye pins? That's the question. I do not, but that's okay because we can just turn these head pins into eye pins. So what I'll do is I'll cut off the head of these. <laughs> I'm showing you all the tricks. What to do in a pinch when you're beating. And then I'm going to just make a simple loop on one end of this wire. Trim that wire. And we're gonna make sure that these loops are a little bigger because we're gonna attach these directly. And then it looks like we want a four millimeter bicone here for our little beaded link. And then we'll make a simple loop on the other end. 
Easy peasy. Good morning, Yolanda. Good to see you. If you're just joining us, we're making summer jewelry with Prestige Crystal, uh, that new citrus green color, perfect for summer. And we've got a blog post full of jewelry inspiration for spring and summer designs. Um, so make sure to check that out. I've got a link in the video description. So that's going to give you the shopping lists and the tech techniques needed for these designs that I'm showing you here today and even more. There are necklaces, bracelets, and earrings featured on the blog. So really great stuff there. All right. We're going to finish up our little... things and then make a simple loop all right there we go so we're going to attach this one to the top of our honeycomb link that's going to be really fun so I'm going to open this up and just like the original, I'm just going to attach it to um, not the center honeycomb link, but the one over. So that'll make a nice shape at the top of our earring. And we'll do the same on the other side of the honeycomb link. Close up that loop. All right, so we've got our bead of links there at the top and we will need a jump ring to connect it all together and make it look pretty. All right, so let's get this jump ring going. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to attach one of those links and then the other. There we go. Oops. Slipped out on one side. Let's get it back in there. Maybe using my uh, chinos pliers would be easier. There we go. Now I'm going to close the jump ring. Yeah, this is so cute. I think that's the perfect way to finish up these earrings. And then all you gotta do is attach your ear wire to the top. So just open up that loop and attach it to the top of your jump ring. Close the loop. Oh, so this is so cute. I love these. And you've got your cute summer honeycomb dangle earrings. And again, you can use different uh, links. I've, I've used the TR Cast Honeycomb. The original design uses the TR Cast Lotus. There's all kinds of different links available on our website that would look really cute in this design. We also have great chandelier components that would look really good um, with these colors. And don't be afraid to um, try different finishes as well. We're working with gold finishes, but silver or copper, brass, they all would look so beautiful so just depending on your style you can really switch it up uh, hi Loretha good to see you so that's such a fun project and then all you have to do once you make your first one is repeat all those steps to make the other one and you have got some really fabulous earrings so those are super fun Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that this video was helpful and inspiring. Please make sure to leave a like and a comment so I know that you watched and enjoyed. We always love hearing from you. And as always, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel so you're the first to know when videos like this are out. Thank you so much and I will see you next time. Bye.